Branding today is vital. And when your branding is good, you make a lot more profit. But a lot of people have problems with this because to do branding correctly, up until now, you've had to have a photographer, be able to take your own personal photographs if it's your brand with your face on it, a designer, and it's been expensive and time consuming. Not anymore. So I'm gonna show you a quick strategy that you could do like literally in moments and you can actually have all the social media headshots that you need for your branding. You can have all the shots you need for your YouTube thumbnails, which is how I'm going to be using it. You'll be seeing us using this kind of art in all of my YouTube thumbnails going forward. And I'll show you how it's being done. You can take pictures of yourself and put you in all kinds of very interesting situations. So many of you may have heard of things called face swapping, and there is a plugin for mid journey that will help you swap your face on anything that you create in mid journey, but kind of doesn't come out with the greatest stuff often. And so what we We've done research yesterday and came up with a way that will allow you to use Midjourney and it gets it really, really good. It makes great face swapping pictures. You can take your face and swap it out for all kinds of scenarios. If you want to put yourself in a, an astronaut helmet on the moon, you want to be an old Western star, you just want to create dramatic looking YouTube thumbnails, you can do all of that with what we're about to show you. So this is a really cool way to just use Mid Journey. And if you haven't seen Mid Journey, check my earlier training in our channel and I'll try to link to it down below. So I'm going to assume you know a little bit about Mid Journey and how to use it. And if you don't, Please refer to that earlier video for full training on how to get, install, and use Mid Journey. You can make oh, just about anything you can imagine. And we're going to be using Insight Face Swap. It's the name, it's a plugin essentially that you can install that allows you to take any uh, Mid Journey picture and swap your face out for it. But as I said, Insight Face Swap alone is not as effective as I would like it to be. Pictures come out weird, they often don't quite look like me. And and you, know, you have to do like maybe 10 of them to get just one that looks good. So we figured out a way to make it have a way better success rate. I'm gonna show you that process, all right? When we did this, it was weird. Maybe I can show you some examples, but it was almost like a distant cousin of Photoshoot, right? You could kind of see the resemblance, but it did not look like it. With this new workflow, combining two tools together, you can make Mid Journey look just like you. So let's dive into the training and I'll show you exactly how you quit. So step one, we're going to use Mid Journey. You can see here, it's like a chat bot. You chat with it. In the chat bot, like you can see an example, like look, here is, uh, there I am, <laughs> playing the piano in a ballroom. Trust me, I don't know how to play the piano. Now there's one other piece that you need to make this work. That is Insight Face Swap is what it's called, okay? Now they have a project over here in a site called GitHub. Now this is a little confusing to everyone, but all you really need to do, there's a link right here. I'm gonna copy this link and I'm gonna share it with the live audience and I'll I'll share it with all of our customers in our private members area as well. So I'll give you the link to that. Um, so save that link and with that, you'll be able to add it to your Discord and it's totally free. So this is Insight Face Swap. That's what you wanna do. So follow the simple instructions and you just add it to, to your Discord. So once you have done that, you'll have access to use Insight Face Swap. And you can see here, it's a, it's a bot that's added to, to my mid journey. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second. Now with Insight Face Swap, you can take any picture. Let's create a picture and I'll just show you an example. So we're gonna go slash imagine, that's how you call up mid journey. And the prompt is, let's say we want cowboy in the desert with cacti around holding six shooters. The desert, uh, let's see, wearing a cowboy hat. So this is the normal way you would use this app. And again, I'm gonna show you the supercharged way in just a moment, but we'd submit that. And what it's gonna do now is it's gonna generate this picture of a cowboy in the desert. That's the first step is you generate your picture using mid journey. And we're gonna come back to it in a second when it comes on. So, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the insight face swap bot. We've installed the bot on the server and I'll show you how you use it in a second. But remember, what I'm gonna show you right now is the old way, the less effective way to do it. And then next, I'm gonna show you the better way to do it. Okay, so here we go, we have some cowboys. So here are my four choices. So I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the bottom. Let's just see how this comes out. So we're gonna, it's called upscaling. So we're gonna click upscale four and it's gonna spit out the final version of that. So here it's now gonna render it and there it is, okay? So we just made this. This is unique AI art that was never existed before in the, in the history and there it is. So what you do is you now 
look at the you can look at the picture. We can right click it, and then you'll notice here under apps. Do you see in swapper? You just click it. Now what it's going to attempt to do, probably poorly. There you go. I put my face on that guy, right? So I don't know how. Do you think that looks like me? Here you can compare. Does it look like me? I, I don't know, right? But that's the old way to do it. So let me show you a way where you can do this even better. It's a two-step process. So I have several pictures of me here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop one of them right into Discord. I'm going to send it. Now watch this. So we're going to right click this and we're going to say copy link. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to start over. We're now going to paste that link. See, we pasted the link there. And then let's get our prompt. There's our prompt there. IW for image weight, okay? So, and by the way, any of you who are getting confused by this procedure, we'll be publishing this as a step-by-step -step lesson. And of course, all of our paying customers and channel members, you will all get the prompts and the step-by-step -step instructions. But there you go. So I'm gonna submit this now, but there it is. So we have our original link to the original image I uploaded, plus our prompt, and then plus this is called image weight. And as, as uh, producer Nick was explaining, it helps guide uh, Midjourney to know how how much to stick close to my original picture here. Watch that, we'll submit that. And so it's gonna go to work and we'll give it a moment. But now, Midjourney is gonna do kind of a mediocre job of making a cowboy that kind of looks like me. But here's what happens. The cowboy picture that it's going to make is gonna have my general face shape. It'll probably have hair similar to me. So now, when we combine those two methods, we have Midjourney trying to make an image that looks like me. Then we have Face Swapper that also tries to make it look more like me and you get a great image usually. Okay, <laughs> I can see the stuff coming out. It's almost there, it's ready. That's what we've got so far. So you can kind of see, do you see how it's sort of kind of like me? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upscale. This guy here doesn't have a, I don't, I don't wanna see what with the beard. I don't know if that's gonna come out well. So I'm gonna upscale the bottom one. So we're gonna upscale number four and then it's gonna spit it out in here. So now if I right click it, and again, remember we go to apps and we go in swapper and then let's see what it comes back with. So that does look a lot more like me. So now you can use this and I'll show you some examples. Take a look at some of what we've already made with this. So if we scroll up, Let's go up beyond that. So of course, producer Nick made that one of me at the piano. Here's me in an old, in a tavern. I don't know, I don't think that looks like me. There's me, there's, there's a classic picture of Elon Musk. And then we swapped, we swapped Elon out for me. Uh, here's me in a lab with a mustache. I'm not sure why it wants me to have a mustache, but there you go. There's another one. I like this one, this lab photo, I like that. These are all examples. Let's see what else we got. Okay, he made this of me as a, as a as as an aging rock star. That was the original picture. Again, there's me as an aging rock star with a mustache. Oh, I like this one. There's me as a Jedi. So, but that's the technique we used to make all of these images. Make sense? So we're now combining. You upload your image to start with. You copy the URL out and you prompt Midjourney to make anything you can imagine with that link. So you say, hey, take my original image and make me an astronaut. Then you use the face swapper app on top of that in order to then make it look much more like you. So it's by merging the, those two apps together, you get much better results. And it's kind of a, a very uh, cool little hack to make it, to come out with some really good stuff. A lot of time and effort, you just have to try over and over and over before you would finally get a good image. But there you go. So this is a way to supercharge mid journey and be able to take your face and put it anywhere you need to. And this is great for those of you who are doing personal branding with your business. So whether you need YouTube thumbnails, social media posts, I mean, we can have a lot of fun with this, putting me in all kinds of different weird scenarios and even inspirational quotes. If I wanted to have quotes of mine that I could put on a very unique and cool looking thing, we could do that. Also, these can also be turned into talking images. You've seen my earlier training about talking images. You can take these and turn the cowboy version of you into a talking image. And again, I have an earlier training in our library on my channel. You can find out how to do that as well if you haven't seen that yet. But there you go. That is the first segment of today's show. And um, I hope you use that to make some profitable and fun images. If you're not yet a member of Push Button AI, then what are you doing? So I would like to invite you to a free masterclass. We're gonna be covering in detail how to create an entire digital online course, an entire business, in fact, that can be set up 100% using AI. 
And if you'd like to attend that free masterclass, what you're gonna wanna do is head over right now to pushbutton.ai slash free class. In that class, I'm gonna show you how we can help two different kinds of people. Number one, if you've got a business and you want to add training, courses, or information to your existing business as a new profit center, or maybe a way to add value to your customers, then I'm gonna show you how to do a detailed 10 module training course including 50 to 60,000 words of content, have it set up and built for you by AI. Also, if you're trying to start your first business online and you're looking for a great business model to make some money online, then Push Button AI is the right solution. And I'll show you how you can use this amazing tool to build an entire business like that. In a snap, Push Button AI will build an entire course for you, create video training, audio training, write your sales page for you, write 30 days of emails for you, create your logo, build your website, set up your shopping cart, set the entire thing up, create a members area so that people can pay you to get access to the course and you get to charge money and keep all the profits. It's quite easy. You answer two questions and you hit a button and it literally does everything for you. A logo a 30-day email sequence, your sales pages for selling your product. It creates the entire training course that you can charge money for. It installs your website, sets up your hosting, launches your site. It even helps you pick the perfect domain name, all powered by AI. You just literally log in and start up your brand new business. So attend the free masterclass. I'll show you a live demo of how it works. I'll explain the entire business model so you can see exactly how does it work and how do you profit? That's pushbutton.ai slash free class. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. You'll see it down below the video down there somewhere. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and actually we'll make sure that you're notified next time that we go live. We release content all throughout the week, by the way. So we have videos on additional strategies and tactics to be dropping to you all week long. Check out all of our useful content. Head over to pushbutton.ai slash free class if you're not yet a customer. Every paying customer, we're gonna be taking today's training. We'll take all the prompts, all the resources, everything that you need to use it, and we're gonna put it in your paid members area. So you'll see it in your AI profits course inside your members area. On that note, I'll see you there. Bye for now.